Dickerson's gonna get her own rebound. Gets her own yes. rebound and puts it in for two. Dickerson putting on a show early here. Baseline ball with seven on the shot clock for NPC. Here we go. Inside Atkins turns and fires for two. National Park's gonna win this basketball game. They erased a double digit deficit. Came back in the fourth and they're gonna win it. Your final score. Nighthawks 80, Lady Colts 74. Live from Oakland Foundation Gymnasium in the Kettle. On the campus of National Park College in Hot Springs, this is National Park College Nighthawk Women's Basketball on the Nighthawk Network, your official home for Nighthawk Athletics this season. Good evening, Nighthawk Nation. I'm NPC Sports Information Director Mark Oliver. Today's broadcast is brought to you by the following sponsors by Hot Springs Baptist Church, your official home of Nighthawk men and women's soccer this season, and by First Security Bank, a proud sponsor of Nighthawk Athletics in 2022. First Security Bank, bank better. Hot off a 60-59 to win in a thriller against University of Arkansas Cossetot here in the Kettle on Saturday. The Nighthawks are flying high on a three-game win streak. Tonight, they'll look for their first four-game winning streak in program history as NPC plays host to the Lady Pioneers of Crowley's Ridge College. Packing a one-two punch of freshman Kayla Richardson and sophomore India Atkins, the Nighthawks thrive on physicality, whether it's driving to the basket or it's stifling defense. Making the trip down from Paragould, the Lady Pioneers enter their season finale at 1-9 this season. But don't let the record fool you, however. CRC averages 67.8 points per game and will make you work for a victory. In front of a packed house here in the kettle, it's game night. When we come back, we'll have starting lineups and the opening tip-off between the Nighthawks and the Lady Pioneers. This is National Park Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path.
back here in the kettle. It is game night. National Park College playing host to the Lady Pioneers of Crowley's Ridge College, making the trip down from Paragould. Special thank you to Nighthawk softball player Ali Shiro helping us out on camera this evening. And thank you for tuning into this edition of Nighthawk Basketball. Doesn't matter if you're a Lady Pioneer fan, Nighthawk fan, a basketball fan, or maybe you just got here by accident. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know who you're excited to see. We'd love to give you a shout out on the live stream this evening. Starting things off, first for our the visitors from Crowley's Ridge College from Pickett, Arkansas, standing at five foot six, number one, Claire Bellers. From Fort Worth, Texas, standing at five foot three, number five, Nakaya Edwards. From Vance, Alabama, standing at five foot seven, number ten, Kiana Foster. From Marion, Arkansas, standing at five foot nine, wearing number 25, Jamaria Johnson. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Lady Pioneers. From Corning, Arkansas, standing at five foot nine, number 33, Michaela Ward. Now for your National Park Nighthawk women, winners of three straight, eight and 11 on the season, looking to make a little bit of history tonight in the kettle. From Granis, Arkansas, standing at five foot 11, number one, Kayla Richardson. From Houston, Texas, standing at six feet tall, number four, Essiana Bennett. From Killeen, Texas, standing at five foot nine, number 10, Amaya Coakley. From Pine Bluff, Arkansas, standing at five foot five, number 11, Whitaker Moorhead. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Nighthawks tonight. From Plummerville, Arkansas, standing at five foot nine, number 23, Jyla Calvin. So for the Lady Pioneers, it's going to be Bellers, Edwards, Foster, Johnson, and Ward. And for the Nighthawk women, Richardson, Bennett, Coakley, Moorhead, and Calvin. Had a chance to talk with Coach Dominique Battles before the battle tonight. He says his girls are playing as focused as they have been all season long. Kind of been a season of peaks and valleys. Had a three-game win streak and then immediately followed by a three-game losing streak. And now back on another three-game winning streak. Some peaks, some valleys, but right now the Nighthawks are climbing probably the tallest peak that they've had of the season all year, and it couldn't come at a better time. After picking up its second NJCAA region to win, the Nighthawks are in the driver's seat, currently sitting in the number four spot in NJCAA region to play. And look at today's game as kind of a tune-up as they get ready to go on the road to North Ark this weekend. Opening tip is controlled by the Lady Pioneers, and we are underway. Here's Claire Bellers trading the rock off with Nakaya Edwards. Edwards front and center as we just get underway here. That one, long one from the corner, won't go. Rebound picked up by the Lady Pioneers, and the put-up won't go. Essiana Bennett fights for a rebound here. Loose ball tipped, controlled by Jyla Calvin. Here comes Nighthawk Nation. 9.25 to play in the first quarter. Coakley and Moorhead will call the shots up high. Cross-court pass finds Whitaker Moorhead. Essiana Bannett in the middle. And we're going to have a turnover here. Bringing the ball in will be Kiana Foster. She finds Edwards, and here we go. Each team looking for their first points in tonight's battle. 9-10 to play in the first quarter. Claire Bellers, long three, good. That starts the scoring for the Lady Pioneers. And the Nighthawks back on the attack, looking to answer. Whitaker Moorhead continues to evolve with each and every game she's involved in this season. Here's Amaya Coakley for the equalizer. Won't go. Whitaker Moorhead, right place, right time at the rebound. Moorhead having one of her best offensive games on Saturday as Kayla Richardson drains a two. And the Nighthawks pull within one. 8.30 remaining here in the first quarter. Richardson loves being the pace car early in basketball games. Setting up down low, the Nighthawks love feeding it to her. And usually the first quarter goes on just how well that they can feed Richardson and get points on the board. If they can do it early and often, it's going to be a good night. 
8.15 to play. Nighthawks on the move, down by one. Lady Pioneers tightening up on man defense here. 12 on the shot clock as Moorhead finds Coakley. Fed to the inside. Richardson in traffic, and she'll draw the foul. Kind of a conundrum for defenses dealing with number one. Either let Richardson score or try to foul her because she's coming in. One way or another, she's getting to that basket. Right now it's going to be from the free throw line. First shot will tie the game. Richardson has all three points so far. And four points for Kayla Richardson. Checking into the game for Crowley's Ridge will be number 12, Shamira Brown. 7.54 to play. The Lady Pioneers find themselves trailing now after an opening three-pointer. Claire Bellers front court guarded by Jyla Calvin. And the Nighthawks move quickly to contain. Pass is intercepted. Out of the sky, Essiana Bennett. Over to Coakley on the wing. Window closed. Jala Calvin. Just enough time for a three, but it's too hard. Clock stopped, 7.26. Amaya Coakley to inbound. Feeds it to Kayla Richardson. Calvin will shoot a three. And that one is nothing but net. The four-point lead for the Nighthawks, and it's seven consecutive points. Jyla Calvin is on the board for the first time tonight. She has three. 7.08 to play in the first. Long two. Off the mark won't fall for Brown. We've played three minutes here in the kettle. Nighthawks on a 7-0 run. Fed over to Calvin on the wing, looking to do it again. Too hard, but Bennett is in the right place at the right time. She'll draw the foul, and she's headed to the free throw line shooting two. Foul is on Kiana Foster. That is her first, team's second. So Essiana Bennett looking for her first point to the ball game. First free throw off the mark, no good. She'll miss them both. Rebound picked up by Michaela Ward for CRC. Nakaya Edwards across the timeline. Brown to Bellers. 18 on the shot clock, still plenty of time. Edwards defended by two Nighthawks down low. They'll kick it out and they'll lose the rock. It's a foot race and Jyla Calvin's going to win that sprint. Calvin turns at the basket and she's fouled. Personal foul against Claire Bellers, and the Nighthawks head right back to the free throw line. This time, Jyla Calvin will get a turn. She shoots two. That's three missed free throws in a row for Nighthawk Nation. Calvin with another opportunity. Makes the second one, and it's 8-3. Four points for Calvin, four for Richardson. Now Crowley's Ridge with the basketball. Into the game for Nighthawk Nation, double zero, India Atkins. As Jyla Calvin will take a seat. It's Richardson, Moorhead, Coakley, Atkins and Bennett all the way to the hoop. Nakaya Edwards for two, and it's a one-possession ball game. That stops an 8 nothing run by the home team with 6.06 to play. Fed inside. Kayla Richardson draws the foul, and number one is headed right back to the charity stripe. This will be the fourth trip to the free throw line in four minutes for Nighthawk Nation. Six minutes remaining in the first. Richardson already with four points. 
first shot, good. Four fouls against the Lady Pioneers early in this one as Richardson sinks them both and doubles up the Lady Pioneers. Could be a factor as the game goes on. If you're looking on the camera, you might notice only seven players dressed out for the Lady Pioneers tonight. We'll take a break. Six minutes remaining. The Nighthawks lead 10-5, to five, and we're back after this. It's Nighthawk Women's Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. 10-5, Nighthawk Nation. Six minutes to play in the first quarter here in Hot Springs. Nakaya Edwards and the Lady Pioneers of Crowley's Ridge looking to cut into the deficit here. Long three coming down is just off the mark. Rebound picked up by the leading rebounder in Nighthawk history, S.C. Anna Bennett. 5.37 to play, Moorhead, Atkins up top, and they feed it to Kayla Richardson. She's going to travel. Thought about a shot, kind of a jump pass there, if you will, but it's going to go back to the ladies in black and green. 5.30 to play. Edwards across the timeline. Finds Foster, nowhere to go. Edwards picks up her dribble, needs a little bit of help now. Foster guarded by Atkins. Fed in down low. Ward loses the rock, and Essiana Bennett's there to take it away. 5.08 to play into the front court. India Atkins. Atkins stays with the basketball, nearly turning it over. Now to Kayla Richardson. Needs help. And they're gonna just going to try to create some space here. Cross court pass has Amaya Coakley up under the basket. It's good. Amaya Coakley on the board for the first time today. It's 12 to 5. Lady Pioneers on the attack here. 4.32 to play. Edwards drives to the hole. Puts one up. Can't get it. Rebound stays with Crowley's Ridge. Five on the shot clock, looking for some magic here. Edwards to the hoop, and it won't go. Rebound blocked by Essiana Bennett, who also picks up the rebound. Nighthawks coming the other way, up by seven, fed into Whitaker Moorhead in the corner. 4.06 to play. Atkins wide open for three. In and out a heartbreaker, and an over-the-back foul, I believe, is going to be against Michaela Ward. That's the fifth team foul for Crowley's here in the first. That's two fouls quickly on Michaela Ward. So Ward will take a seat. Joining in her place will be number 35, Maya Edwards. Two shots coming for Kayla Richardson. First shot is good. And Richardson remains perfect from the free throw line. That is six free throws just in the first quarter. She has eight points overall. Nighthawks on the attack here. It's going to be intercepted, and they're going to get another opportunity here. Coakley down low, up and in. It's a double-digit lead, and we've got a timeout on the floor. Crowley's Ridge wants a moment. We'll take it with him. 16-5, Nighthawk Nation. 3.50 to play in the first. It's Nighthawk basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here 
and heart and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Fifty remaining in the first quarter, and it's all Nighthawks so far in this one. 16 to 5. A lot of fouls. That's kind of been the story here in this one early. Kayla Richardson, eight points early. Six of them coming from the charity stripe. Lady Pioneers trying to get the ball inbounds and it is going to be tipped by Coakley. It's going to be a reset here. But the Nighthawks have their foot on the gas and they're hungry. Inbound goes to Nakaya Edwards across the timeline. She's going to have to be quick. The Nighthawk defense stingy. You see India Atkins there with the pressure, also with a smile on her face. Just thought we'd point that out. That pass there tipped away. Controlled by the Lady Pioneers who now face a 10-second shot clock. Jala Calvin looking for a steal. Five on the clock. Here's Brown. Brown drives. And a blocking foul as she's going to run right into I believe Kayla Richardson. No, excuse me, Amaya Coakley is going to pick up the personal. And that's going to be free throws coming up for the Lady Pioneers. At the line is Shamira Brown. First shot is good. Cuts the lead to 10. Excuse me, they're going to count the bucket there, too. So it's 16 to 8. Nighthawks lose the rock, and now the Lady Pioneers come away in transition. 3.04 to play. Nakaya Edwards guarded by Atkins up high. Trying to feed it in down low. Kicked up to Shamira Brown up high. Edwards, long three from the wing. It's in and out, no good. Loose ball controlled by the Lady Pioneers, but it's taken away down low. Kayla Richardson comes up with the steal. Now Richardson coming into the front court. Needs a little bit of help. There's Whitaker Moorhead. India Atkins sky high for three. First points of the ball game for India. Who inches ever so closely to the all-time leading scoring record for National Park College. We'll talk more about that coming up in a little bit. 2-12 remaining here in the first quarter. An 11-point lead for the home team. Fed inside. Jamaria Johnson gets it away just in time to Edwards. Three on the shot clock. Edwards for two. And Johnson unable to get the shot off in time. We talked about India Atkins. She entered today's game just 48 points away from taking the all-time scoring record here at NPC. Well, now it's 45 points away. Atkins to Richardson down in the corner. Nowhere to go in the wheel and around. 140 to play here in the first quarter. 10 on the shot clock for Whitaker Moorhead. Coakley, unafraid, jump pass, Moorhead. Needs help, and the ball is taken away. Intercepted by Edwards. Looking to go coast to coast, and she does. Count the bucket. There's a foul, and Nakaya Edwards goes for the three-point play. Four points for Nakaya Edwards so far in this one. And the Lady Pioneers trying to generate a little bit of momentum here. Clock stopped at 123. Edwards completes the three-point play. 
five points for Edwards. She leads the Lady Pioneers in scoring. And the Nighthawks will look to answer here. Inside, down low, Kayla Richardson and a heartbreaker in and out. Another big opportunity for CRC coming the other way. Driving in, shot is up in traffic. Kiana Foster can't get it to go, but she will go to the charity stripe shooting two. Foul is on Jyla Calvin for NPC, and that's her second. Kiana Foster is looking for her first points of today's game with 102 to play. First free throw is in and out. Second shot, Foster knocks it down. It's 19-12. Less than a minute remaining in the first quarter here. Been a hot start for Nighthawk Nation, but kind of fizzling out here towards the end of the period. There's another turnover, and the Lady Pioneers trying to generate something out of it. A steal by Amaya Coakley. Fed to India Atkins. Can she reel it in in time? No, but Coakley's there. Right place, right time to get the job done. Not a bad first quarter for Amaya Coakley. Six points, and the Nighthawks lead by nine. Lady Pioneers can't hold for the final shot. 20 seconds remaining. They'll feed it in down low. Turning in traffic. It's good. Kiana Foster for two. Eight seconds left. Nighthawks in the front court. Atkins fires for a long three, and it's going to go out of bounds. So the Lady Pioneers will get the final shot of the first quarter and try to cut into a seven-point deficit. Here we go. And Edwards can't get the shot off in time, and that's the end of the first quarter. We've played one here from the Kettle, 21-14 Nighthawks. Back after this, it's Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Here in the kettle, start of the second quarter between the Nighthawks and the Lady Pioneers. Thanks for spending your Monday with this. If you're watching on the live stream, let us know where you're watching from and who you're here to see. We'd love to give you a shout out on the stream tonight. 21-14 Nighthawks who take the ball to start the second quarter. On the floor, India Atkins, Amaya Coakley, Essiana Bennett, Jyla Calvin, and Whitaker Moorhead. After a brief reset here, we're ready for basketball as we start the second quarter here. Jyla Calvin. We're going to have a three-second in the lane violation. It's going to be a turnover for the Nighthawks. Hot start for the Nighthawks. Had an 8-0 run built in there to kind of take the lead. And uh, we're cruising. Had a double-digit lead in the first quarter. But the... Lady Pioneers able to create some turnovers, come back, score some points. It's still a seven-point ball game, but not as comfortable maybe as it felt earlier in this one. 9.30 to play in the first half. Here's Claire Bellers, and she'll reset with Nakaya Edwards up top. Six on the shot clock. Edwards needs help, feeds it. 
and a long two won't go. Kiana Foster will be fouled, and that will send the Lady Pioneers to the free throw line. Foul is on Whitaker Moorhead for NPC. That's her first, team's first, here in the second. Two shots coming for Foster. First one is in. Six points, or excuse me, four points for Kiana Foster. She'll make them both, and it's a five-point ball game. Nighthawks needing some momentum here in the second quarter. Fed that one inside to Essiana Bennett. She is triple team. Gets it away just in time. And trying to set up Danielle Dickerson down low for something special. Seven on the shot clock. Out to Jyla Calvin. Driving baseline. Jump pass. Atkins for three. And it's good. That's India Atkins' second tray of the game. She has six and the lead is eight. 8.38 remaining in the first half. That pass knocked away, partially tipped by Essiana Bennett, and it's going to stay with the visitors. Edwards to inbound for the Lady Pioneers. Gets it out deep. Here's Shamira Brown. Claire Bellers looking for some space on the inside. Jyla Calvin not allowing anything. Five on the shot clock. Edwards to Bellers. Long three contested, and it's off the rim. Controlled by Whitaker Moorhead. Nighthawks on the run. Cross-court pass, and Atkins goes down awkwardly. It's a turnover. Edwards coming the other way quickly. Looking to feed Claire Bellers for three. In and out, no good. Nighthawks recover, India Atkins. Just a little over two minutes out of the way here in the second quarter, Danielle Dickerson loses the rock, stays with it, and we have a jump ball. It's going to go to Crowley's Ridge. With 7.47 to play. Inbounding, Nakaya Edwards tries to part the seas into the front court. She goes down low, can't finish, and a big rebound for Danielle Dickerson. 7.33 to play, out to Dickerson on the wing. Cross court, and it's going to be out of bounds back to the Lady Pioneers. Clock stopped to 7.26 to play. Been a low-scoring second quarter so far. The Nighthawks have the advantage early, 3-2. to two. After outscoring Crowley's Ridge 21-14 in the first. Shamira Brown backed into the corner. They're going to move the ball around from the free throw line. Kiana Foster for two. Can't get it. Essiana Bennett adds another rebound. And here come the Hawks. Atkins. To Moorhead in the middle. Daniel Dickerson drives baseline, puts up a shot in traffic, partially blocked. Bennett, rebound, and the putback for two. First points of the ball game for SC on a Bennett. The lead is double digits once again. That one can't be reeled in by Michaela Ward, and the Nighthawks will take over. 6.30 to play here in the first half. Kayla Richardson back into the ballgame. Whitaker Moorhead will take a seat. So it's Atkins, Richardson, Calvin, Dickerson, and Bennett on the floor for the home team. 6.23 remaining. Here's India Atkins. Six points already in tonight's contest. Calvin thought about a three-pointer. It's going to reset up high. Curly's Ridge doing a great job defending in the paint, forcing deep shots, and Bennett is in the right place at the right time to punish for two. 
Four points for number four. And the lead is 12. Corley's Ridge cut it as low as five, but the Nighthawks found their mojo here in the second. Michaela Ward off the backboard, no good, and Richardson comes up with the rock. Over to India Atkins and Jyla Calvin. Richardson turns in traffic. An air ball is going to be picked up by Johnson. Rebound coming the other way. Here's Claire Bellers, 5.20 remaining. Bellers backed out beyond the arc. Nakaya Edwards nowhere to go. Bellers shoots a three. Up and off the rim, no good. Richardson with another rebound. The team's leading rebounder has another one. Atkins on the move, a quick two off the front of the rim. And now she'll go back on defense trying to get a takeaway. Into the front court, a mismatch. Bellers is fouled, and she'll head to the line shooting two. That'll be number three on Jyla Calvin today. Checking in for the Lady Pioneers, number 35, Maya Edwards. And for the first time today, we'll see Dakira Kentel check in for NPC. At the line shooting to Claire Bellers. First free throw is up and off the back of the rim, no good. Bellers with three points in today's contest. She actually gave the Lady Pioneers an early lead with the first bucket of the game. Now she's scored in the second quarter. It's 28-17. Five minutes remaining. Nighthawks trying to keep the foot on the gas. They'll wheel it around on the arc. India Atkins front and center to DK Kentel. Long two, and it's up and in. Dakira Kennel coming in off the bench, much like she did Saturday against Cossetot, and really making it count. 4.29 remaining. Bellers and Brown man the top of the arc. Cross-court pass denied by Essiana Bennett. Blocked in a takeaway. Now a reach-in foul. It's going to be charged to Maya Edwards. It'll be the first foul of the second quarter for Crowley's. Nighthawks on the move here. Danielle Dickerson, Atkins, and Bennett moving the ball quickly. Atkins turns and fires for another three. It's her third, and India Atkins approaching double figures after a big second quarter so far. Three threes for double zero. 33-17 Nighthawks, 3.42 remaining. Here's a three-pointer, too short for the Lady Pioneers. The save attempt out of bounds for Michaela Ward. It's Nighthawk Rock. Atkins into enemy territory. Essiana Bennett double team. There's a jump ball. It's going to stay within PC. 3.28 remaining. Kayla Richardson to bring it in. Out to India Atkins. And to Kira Kintel. Smooth moves, but it's uh, a travel. So back to the Lady Pioneers we go, 321 to play. It'll be Brown inbounding to Bellers. <laughs> Bellers sky high for a wide open three. It won't hit the mark. And blocked from behind by Danielle Dickerson. Kayla Richardson recovers. Here come the Nighthawks. Coming up on three minutes remaining in the first half. Three big threes for India Atkins, who's now 39 points away from school history. 
Kayla Richardson with a field goal. That brings her to double figures. She has 10. The lead is 18. Here's a long laser three-pointer. Won't go, and Dickerson saves it. Nighthawks continue to push here. Bounce pass, DK Kintel. Double team, nowhere to go. It's going to be out of bounds. It looks like it's going to stay with NPC. Taylor Humphreys is into the game for the home team. She'll take the ball out as Essiana Bennett takes a break. Out deep, India Atkins. Fed to Dickerson, driving, and a charge foul. Offensive foul to Dickerson. That'll be number three against Nighthawk Nation here in the second. Dickerson's first. 2-12 to play in this one here in the first half. Brown and Bellers on the short wing here. And a long three goes awry and out of bounds. Two minutes left on the clock as Nakaya Edwards re-enters the game for CRC. Atkins right up the middle, finds Kayla Richardson. Humphreys has time, wide open for three, but she'll miss it. And it's picked up by Jamiria Johnson. 140 to play here in the first half. Shamira Brown. There's going to be a blocking foul as Taylor Humphreys got a little too physical there. First of the game for Humphreys. That's foul number four for NPC here in the second. Lady Pioneers on the move, trapped in the corner. 10 on the shot clock. Down low, Johnson is fouled as she goes to the hoop. Now she'll go to the free throw line, shooting two. Foul charge to Danielle Dickerson. That's number two. And for the first time tonight, we're going to see a new Nighthawk hit the floor here, Kamaya Beal. First shot for Johnson is good. She's on the board for the first time today. Second shot, good. Kamaya Beal enters the game wearing number 20. Representing her hometown of Hot Springs. So it's Richardson, Kentel, Atkins, Humphreys, and Beal on the floor. They'll feed it out to Kamaya Beal, driving on the right-hand wing over there. Up high to DK Kentel and Taylor Humphreys. Ten on the shot clock. Beal in the corner, steps out of bounds. And we'll get a reset here with 102 to play. CRC takes over, down by 16. Less than a minute remaining in the first half. Edwards up high, guarded loosely by Taylor Humphreys. Zone defense for NPC. Now tightening up. Edwards nowhere to go. 10 on the shot clock and a steal by Humphreys. Richardson, it's a foot race into the front court. Coast to coast, it's up and in. 12 points for Kayla Richardson in this one. Lady Pioneers ahead of the shot clock. They can't hold here. That one nearly stolen away again. 18 seconds left in the first half. Brown hangs on into the corner. Long three on its way. It's partially tipped. Picked up by the Nighthawks, and they can hold for the final shot. There's a jump ball, and it's going to go back to Crowley's Ridge. 10.1 seconds left, and the Lady Pioneers will get the final shot of the first half, most likely. Nakaya Edwards will bring it in. And we've got a, a foul. No, sorry, it's a it's a gonna be a turnover. Unable to get the ball in in time. Ten seconds remaining 
in the first half. And the Nighthawks will have the final shot here. Picked up by India Atkins. Here we go. Out on the wing. Kamaya Beal, a long three. Won't go. DK Kentel with the putback for two. Not enough time for a full court heave. It's 39-19 as we head to the break. All Nighthawks in this one early. It's the first Security Bank halftime show. We'll be back after this for first half stats in the kettle. Nighthawks up by 20 here at the break. It's National Park Nighthawk basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Halftime here from the Kettle National Park College in Hot Springs. We're at the break. National Park College leads 39 to 19 over the Lady Pioneers of Crowley's Ridge College. How about that Nighthawk defense in the second quarter outscoring the Lady Pioneers just 18 to five. 
The only point scored by the Lady Pioneers in the second quarter came from free throws. Not a single field goal allowed there. Four points for Claire Bellers for CRC. Five points for Nakia Edwards. Five for Kiana Foster. Three for Shamira Brown. Two for Jamaria Johnson in the first half of action. For National Park College, 12 points. Kayla Richardson leads the way for the home team. Nine for India Atkins. Six for Amaya Coakley. Four for Jyla Calvin, Essiana Bennett, and Dakira Kentel. National Park College looking for its fourth, or excuse me, its first four-game winning streak in school history and well on its way to doing just that tonight. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, second half of action will be upon us. This is National Park Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Nine nineteen Nighthawks here at halftime, just under six minutes away from the start of the second half here in the kettle. And what a beautiful kettle it is. If you haven't come out and seen the Nighthawks in action this season, 
Time is starting to run out. Just a warning out there. Only two home games remaining in the regular season for the Nighthawk women. The next action here in the Kettle, Saturday, February 12th. Arkansas State Mid-South comes to town. That's a 2 p.m. tip-off here in the Kettle against a very strong Region 2 opponent. And the Nighthawks will close out the season with senior night here in the Kettle Saturday, February 19th, as they play host to the Shooting Stars of South Arkansas Community College. That's Saturday 19th of February at 2 p.m. So Saturday the 12th, Saturday the 19th, your next two home games. And, of course, the Nighthawks looking to host a postseason game in the kettle, much like they did a year ago, and looking to go farther, looking for that first postseason win in school history. Well in the driver's seat for its first four-game winning streak in school history. We actually broke out the record books during the halftime break here to just see what is the fewest amount of points allowed by a National Park women's basketball team. So the answer to that question is 43, and they've done it twice in program history uh, as early as this season, or as most recently as this season, I should say. Back on January 22nd, they beat South Arc 49-43, but going back even farther than that, November 22nd, 2019, on the road at Williams Baptist University, allowing just 43 in that contest, and right now, if things stand, they're on track to allow just 38 points and shatter one of those records in the kettle tonight. So the Nighthawks going to see if they can make a little defensive history in the kettle and had a chance to, to peek in on coach battles and halftime locker room conversation. It's all about defense. No surprise there, allowing just five points in the second quarter. The Nighthawks looking to turn up the juice and Hey, this is the last tune-up game before another big conference showdown coming up on Saturday. The Nighthawks are going to be on the road at North Ark, a very talented Lady Pioneers team, and National Park wanting to be tuned up as much as possible for that one. When we come back, start of the third quarter between the Lady Pioneers and your National Park Nighthawks, 39-19. We're back after this. This is National Park Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here and heart and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path.
back in action here in the kennel. Start of the second half between the National Park Nighthawks and the Lady Pioneers of Crowley's Ridge. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. As we start the second half, it'll be Nighthawk basketball. On the floor will be Calvin Richardson, Moorhead, Coakley, and Bennett. An errant pass is going to go out of bounds, and it's going to go right back to NPC up 20 in this one. Nighthawks will get another opportunity here for a reset up by 20. Like we talked about in the second quarter, they did not allow a single field goal. Three point, two point, didn't matter. Only five free throws, and that was it for Crowley's Ridge. Down low, Essiana Bennett is going to let that one go out, but it is CRC basketball with 9.22 to play. Nakaya Edwards near the far wing, sizing up the NPC defense here. Gets it to Shamira Brown. Lost the ball. Down low, we've got a jump ball, and it's going to stay with the Lady Pioneers. One minute off the clock here in the third quarter. Still no score for either team in the third. CRC looking to mount a huge comeback. Foster driving down low, and it is blocked away from behind by Coakley. The shot clock will expire, and it's Nighthawk Rock once again. Coakley to Moorhead, here we go. Moorhead feeds that one in to Kayla Richardson. Coakley on the run and a defensive blocking foul. They'll get Jamaria Johnson as Coakley's headed to the free throw line. Amaya Coakley, six points in the first half. It's her first trip to the charity stripe today as Johnson picks up her first foul. First free throw is good and the Nighthawks reach 40. Second free throw off the rim, rebound Johnson. Here come the Lady Pioneers. Lead is 21 for the home team. Lady Pioneers looking for their first points of the third quarter. Long two, Nakaya Edwards can't knock it down. The Nighthawks go up for the rebound. They can't control, and it's CRC basketball. Inbounding at the baseline is Edwards, and a kickball. It's going to stay with, or excuse me, it's going to go to the Nighthawks here. Coakley to Moorhead. Back in action to the Nighthawks here, 8-12 to play in the third quarter. We've got a turnover here. Now the Lady Pioneers take over. Two minutes off the clock here in the third quarter. Fed to Edwards on the far wing. Now to Foster. Has her hands full with Jyla Calvin. 7.40 remaining. Foster goes to the hole. Can't get it. Johnson comes up with the board and the putback for two. That's the first field goal for the Lady Pioneers since the first quarter. Foster with seven points. On the inside, Essiana Bennett in traffic. It's too short. She's going to get her own rebound. Put back. Good. Essiana Bennett, six points in today's contest. Seven oh five remaining, and we've got a double triple here. 
coming back into the game for the home team, India Atkins. Jyla Calvin takes a breather. And the Nighthawks have the Lady Pioneers doubled up here in the third. Atkins fires that one inside. Richardson, a jump pass. Bennett is fouled and headed to the charity stripe, shooting two. Second trip to the free throw line for Essiana Bennett. She had a rare double miss back in the first quarter. And looking to make good on that here in the third. First free throw is good. Seven points for Essiana Bennett. Second one is off the mark. Rebound picked up by Crowley's Ridge. Coming the other way, that one's blocked, taken away. National Park has the rock. 6.40 to play, here's India Atkins. Whitaker Moorhead's gonna lose it out of bounds, a turnover back to the home team. Nearly three and a half minutes off the clock here in the third. And only two points for the Lady Pioneers. Been slow scoring for each team, just four to two Nighthawks with the advantage here. Here's a long three on its way. Back of the rim and over the back, it's gonna go to NPC with 6.17 to play. Six ten to play, Richardson, a jump shot won't go. Bennett fires, won't get it. And now a jump ball is gonna go to NPC with 6.05 to play. Inbounding is Amaya Coakley. From the corner, Coakley, a contested three, it's good. Amaya Coakley from downtown. She'll enter double figures with 10. Four of those coming here in the third quarter. Lead is 25 for National Park College. We've got a reach in foul. That one is out of bounds too. Nakaya Edwards to bring it in. Finds Foster, long three on its way, won't go. Bennett tips it to Atkins for the rebound. Nighthawks on the attack, 5.36 to play, and we've got to travel back to CRC. Edwards, front court, long three with a hand in her face, an air ball out of bounds, and it goes back to National Park. 5.25 to play, Whitaker Moorhead will bring it in. Now to India Atkins. On the inside, Kayla Richardson up in traffic, won't go, gets her own board, put back is up, and she'll draw the foul. Well, it's the fourth time today that Kayla Richardson heads to the charity stripe. She's perfect so far, six of six. with 12 points already. She'll miss her first free throw of the ball game. One more to go for Richardson. Second shot is good. Substitutions coming in for Nighthawk Nation. We'll see Danielle Dickerson in for Essiana Bennett. So it's Atkins, Moorhead, Richardson, Dickerson, and Amaya Coakley with another steal. That went a little bit too hard. Dickerson's there to save it. Nighthawks are gonna get a reset. India Atkins looking for her fourth tray. Can't get it. Dickerson, count the bucket. There's a foul. First points of the ball game for Danielle Dickerson. She's headed to the line for the and one. Dickerson will go to the line. 
looking to bring the Nighthawks to 50. Free throw good for Dickerson. She completes the three-point play. And now a loose ball picked up by Kayla Richardson. Coming the other way of the Nighthawks here. 4.50 to play. Still just two points allowed by NPC here in the third quarter. Long, th long two now for Whitaker Moorhead. Off the rim, no good. Picked up Shamira Brown coming the other way, and it's knocked away. Souvenir for Aaron Brewer here on the sidelines. Bellers finds Edwards. Here come the Lady Pioneers. Cross court, reeled in by Brown. They'll try to wheel it around, but the Nighthawk defense is there and ready. Long three on its way. It's good. Shamira Brown, six points in this one. Four minutes remaining in the third quarter. Down low is Kayla Richardson. An offensive foul. They're going to tag Richardson with her first. 3.57 to play. Second team foul for NPC here in the third. Jamaria Johnson is going to be fouled over the back as she's going to go to the line shooting two. Johnson with two points in tonight's contest, both of them free throws. Clock stopped at 3.50. Free throw good. One more shot coming for Johnson. Off the rim, controlled by India Atkins. Pressured and a reach in. They're going to get Shamira Brown on the personal. Checking in for the Nighthawks, Jyla Calvin is back on the floor in for Amaya Coakley. And now free throws coming for Nighthawk Nation. India Atkins is headed to the charity stripe. She's looking to go into double digits today. It's her first trip there. First free throw, good. And Atkins goes two for two. 11 points for India Atkins. 52-25, and now Whitaker Moorhead's going to foul. That's going to be the fourth on NPC. Moorhead will pick up her second personal. Nakaya Edwards on the inbound. Brown dribbles past a Nighthawk, puts one up in traffic, won't go. Jyla Calvin with a rebound. Nighthawks coming the other way. India Atkins floats it to Dickerson. Up and in. Danielle Dickerson. Five points all in the third quarter. The Nighthawk lead continues. 3.08 remaining. Edwards to Brown. Near the front and center in Nighthawk territory. Three minutes remaining. Bellers shoots a long three. Sky high off the back of the rim. Johnson, in traffic, makes it count. So the Lady Pioneers starting to find some shots here in the third. Still have a long way to go. They're up to eight points scored in the third. 2.33 remaining. Nighthawks with the rock here. Jyla Calvin from downtown. It's good. Calvin with seven points in a night's contest. That pushes the lead to 30. And Coach Dominique Battles ready to bring in some substitutions here. 
2.11 to play. Edwards in traffic, can't get it. Rebound, Richardson. Here come the Hawks. Finding Jyla Calvin on the run. Calvin too short, won't go. Brown cross court to Johnson. Now Brown wide open for a three. It's good. Shamira Brown, her second three. And Coach Dominique battles once a timeout. 57-30 Nighthawks, 148 to play. We're back after this. Nighthawk basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. One forty-eight to play in the third quarter. Here in the kettle, 57-30, Nighthawks by 27. On the floor for the first time tonight, Emily Touch for Nighthawk Nation, the Homer, Louisiana native. Getting some good minutes in here in this one. That one is out of bounds, a souvenir for Essiana Bennett over on the Nighthawk bench. It's Atkins, Touch, Dickerson, Richardson, and Calvin on the floor. Here's a long three-pointer, won't go. Rebound and put back, India Atkins for two. 13 points for India. Claire Bellers has her hands full with Emily Touch up high. 110 remaining in the third quarter. Brown, a contested three-pointer. It's off the mark, no good. Rebound Bellers, and Bellers puts one up in traffic. She'll draw the foul, headed to the free throw line, shooting two. Claire Bellers with four points in today's battle. She scored the very first bucket of today's game, a three-pointer, and then had a free throw in the second. 103 remaining in the third quarter here in the kettle. Bellers first free throw is good. Second shot good for Bellers. Increasing her total to six points. Nighthawks on the move. Atkins, less than a minute to play. Touch to Calvin. And now cross court setting up Atkins. As she drives in, she'll be fouled on the, uh, no, she'll be fouled as shooting foul, they'll call it. And she's headed to the free throw line once again. Second trip to the charity stripe for India Atkins this quarter. With 13 points overall, looking to bring the Nighthawks to 60 and then some. First free throw, good. Yeah. 15 points for India Atkins. She leads all scorers in this one. 46 seconds remaining in the third quarter. That one's taken away by Emily Touch. Touch into the front court. Needs a little bit of help. Finds Danielle Dickerson to save the day. 32 seconds left. Nighthawks cannot hold for the final shot. Emily Touch for three. It's her first points of the season. And a roar from the crowd and her teammates. Touch with the tray. Fifteen point two seconds. It's all smiles for Emily Touch. Her teammates cheer her on. Nighthawks will have an opportunity for the final shot of the third quarter. Inside Kayla Richardson kisses it off the glass for two. Fourteen for Kayla Richardson. 
Bellers across the timeline. A three-pointer at the buzzer, no good. We've played three from the Kettle all Nighthawks, 66-32. We're back after this for the final act from Hot Springs. It's Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. We'll be right back. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. After outscoring the Lady Pioneers 27 to 13 in the third, the Nighthawks are looking to cruise to their first four game winning streak in Nighthawk history. They're 10 minutes away. Crowley's Ridge College looking to say something about it here, but they have a long way to go. On the floor for Nighthawk Nation, Kamaya Beal, Emily Touch, Taylor Humphreys, Dakira Kentel. And Danielle Dickerson. Claire Bellers driving, kicked out on the wing. Nakaya Edwards for three, won't go. Loose ball picked up by Johnson. Edwards are going to get another opportunity here. Shot up in traffic is good for Kiana Foster. First points of the fourth quarter go to CRC 66-34. Fed inside, Dakira Kentel will travel and kick it right back over to the Lady Pioneers. Talked about it at halftime, the fewest points allowed ever by National Park College's women's basketball team, 43. They've done it twice, once this year and then once back in 2019. Let's see if the defense can step up and maybe make a little history tonight on a Monday. That one tipped away, stays with Edwards. Nakaya Edwards driving on the wing, Bellers nowhere to go. 13 on the shot clock. They'll wheel it in to Foster down low. Touch with the pressure. Kentel with the rebound. Dakira Kentel finds Taylor Humphreys inside CRC territory. Kamaya Beal for three, and that's off the rim. Danielle Dickerson has the putback, saving the day. Seven points for Danielle Dickerson in this one. The Nighthawks have their first points of the fourth quarter. Out on the wing is Bellers. Cross court. That's intercepted by Taylor Humphreys. Now it's a foot race. One on one. Humphreys is going to slow down. Feeds Emily Touch. Can she do it again? Yes! Emily Touch. Another tray. Knocked down her first points of the season in the third. Said, hey, we're going to keep that energy going. And the loudest fans in attendance may be the ones on the Nighthawk bench. They are energetic. Big rebound for DK Kentel. There's a steal for Johnson and another steal. Emily Touch comes away with it. She's tripped a defensive foul. And that will have Touch up and okay, it looks like. Nighthawks have the basketball. Foul is going to be on Claire Bellers. That's her third. Seven forty-one to play in the kettle here. Down to Dickerson on the wing. Floats it up, looking to feed Kamaya Beal. Looking for some points here. That one's knocked away. Nakaya Edwards hangs on to it. And now a blocking foul will be charged against Beal. It's a shooting foul. Edwards will go to the free throw line.
five points for Nakaya Edwards in this one. She's had one free throw attempt so far. She converted back in the first. First free throw is off the mark there. Second free throw missed. And CRC is going to come up with the rebound and another opportunity. Out on the wing, Foster, stutter step down towards the baseline, looking to feed Brown. Brown cruising from the free throw line, sinks a two. Shamira Brown enters double figures for the Lady Pioneers. She's the first to do so. She has 11. Emily Touch into the front court, has it taken away. CRC coming the other way, chased down by Humphreys. The shot is up and in for Nakaya Edwards for two. 71-38. Into the front court, Dakira Kentel. Kentel dashes, throws one up too short, gets her own rebound, and now dishes to Dickerson. Down low at the baseline, it's up and in for Danielle. Nine points for Danielle Dickerson. 73 38. 624 remaining in this one. Claire Bellers out on the wing, Nakaya Edwards. Long three, and it's off the mark. Last touch by a Nighthawk. Edwards will inbound. Out to Foster, stays with it. Lady Pioneers on the wing, nowhere to go. Shamira Brown for three, but it's off the mark. Rebound on the run, Kamaya Beal. Taylor Humphreys on the wing, double team, blasts through it, feeds it to Danielle Dickerson. Dickerson stays with it, even though she loses the dribble, now it's taken away. It's a foot race, Humphreys with the chase down on Edwards, but it's not enough to prevent the basket. Nakaya Edwards gets the Lady Pioneers to 40. Kentel, front court, feeds Taylor Humphreys with 528 remaining. Kamaya Beal from downtown. In and out, no good. Last touched by DK Kentel. Timeout on the floor. National Park College coach Dominique Battles wants a few minutes with his women here. 73-40, the Nighthawks up big. This is National Park Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Seventy-three forty, Nighthawks in command here in the fourth quarter. Five twenty-four remaining in the basketball game. I'm Mark Oliver with the Nighthawk Network. Glad to have you with us on the broadcast. We see you out there. Don't forget, Nighthawk men, Pioneer men, coming up next right here. You don't have to go anywhere to catch that game. Nighthawks are about five minutes away from their first four-game win streak in program history. Shamira Brown for a long three off the mark, and the rebound goes to Emily Touch. There's a jump ball, and it'll go right back to CRC with 5.05 to play.
And it looks like it'll be Nighthawk basketball. Excuse me. I thought it should be Lady Pioneer basketball. Nighthawks will have it. Touch to Humphreys. Pressure defense coming in from the girls in black and green. Kentel is swarmed, finds Taylor Humphreys. In the corner, Kamaya Beal. Won't get it. Dickerson, rebound, put back too hard. Fighting for it, gets her own board. And now we've got an offensive foul as Dickerson got a little too physical there. That's number three on Danielle. 4.44 remaining in the kettle. Edwards to Bellers on the wing. Nighthawk defense trying to prevent any more points on the board here. That one is off the mark. Picked up by Dakira Kentel. Kentel swarmed, and now they'll give it to Taylor Humphreys. That one's intercepted. Bellers on the run. Looking to capitalize on a turnover. Won't go, but in the right place at the right time, Kiana Foster. 73-42. Four oh two to play. Here's Emily Touch. Bounce pass. Beal loses it. Stays with it. We've got a jump ball. It'll be CRC basketball with 3.55 to play. Edwards across the timeline. Out on the wing, Claire Bellers for three. Off the mark, and Kentel has the rebound. Nighthawks on the move and in the front court. Humphreys is corralled, and that one goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with the home team. Coming in for the Lady Pioneers, number 33, Michaela Ward. Dickerson looking for double figures. Puts one up in traffic. Gets her own rebound. There's the foul. And Danielle Dickerson headed to the free throw line, shooting two. She had five points in the third. She has four in the fourth. And she looks to be the fourth Nighthawk in double figures tonight. Two shots coming for Danielle Dickerson. First one is off the mark, no good. Second shot, no good. Picked up by CRC, coming the other way. Nakaya Edwards, 3.21 to play. Bellers on the wing, drives in traffic, off the rim, no good. Rebound to Kira Kentel. Another board for 33, there's a collision, and the ball comes up with it. Is number 12, Shamira Brown. Brown to Foster, a big collision as Humphreys came in hot. Foster is up and okay. And this is going to be a foul on the floor with 3.06 to play. 26 on the shot clock. Edwards inbounds deep to Bellers. Foster driving. There's a foul. Danielle Dickerson's going to pick up number four. Lady Pioneers will inbound at the baseline. Bellers to bring it in. Out deep, finds Brown. Now Bellers for three, off the back of the rim. Rebound, Ward. We're gonna have a official timeout to reset the shot clock here. We're going to fix the shot clock to 18 seconds. 2.57 to play. Bellers inbounds. Finds Brown out on the near wing. Guarded by Humphreys. Fed into Foster. Puts one up in traffic. She's fouled. And headed to the free throw line. Kiana Foster. 11 points for Foster. First shot is good. Seven. 
Off the mark, no good. Loose ball, gonna be last touched by a Nighthawk. Clock stop, 2.47 remaining. And Bellers will bring it in. 30 point ball game. Out deep is Brown. Edwards moving towards the inside, puts a shot up in traffic, won't go. Ward with a rebound and a loose ball intercepted. Taylor Humphreys comes up with a steal, stays with it, and now a foul as there's a collision there. It's going to be against Crowley's Ridge College. First foul of the ball game for Nakaya Edwards. 2.27 remaining. Touch on the inbound. Kentel in traffic. Turns and fires for two, and that one's good. Takira Kintel up to six points today. 75-43, 2.10 remaining. Edwards turns and fires for three, it won't go, and Emily Touch with a rebound. Touch over to Takira Kintel. Kintel looking to take it home, but it's swatted away out of bounds. One fifty-five to play. Out deep, Kamaya Beal wide open for three, and it's in. Kamaya Beal on the board with a big tray. Getting another ovation from the Nighthawk bench. Here's a three from Brown, and that'll sink in. 14 points for Shamira Brown. Less than 90 seconds remaining here in the kettle. Nighthawks pushing close to 80. Here's a long two, Dakira Kentel won't go. Rebound picked up by Foster. Into the front court, looking for an option. Hands off to Nikaya Edwards, she's fouled. We've got free throws coming. Foul's gonna be on Emily Touch. Her first personal. Nakaya Edwards at the free throw line. She is just one of three from the charity stripe in today's battle. First shot, no good. Edwards makes number two. One oh six remaining for Taylor Humphreys and the Nighthawks. Dickerson feeds Kentel. Long three on its way. Bounces off the rim and it's good. Nine points for DK Kentel. 50 seconds left. Brown, another three-pointer on its way, and it's good. That'll push CRC to 50. That's her fourth three-pointer of the ball game. She has eight here in the fourth. Across the way, Humphreys has her hands full, finds Emily Touch, and on the inside, Dickerson drives, fires, gets her own board, and the putback won't fall. Shot clock is turned off for Crowley's Ridge. Brown's going to try for another three-pointer. Off the mark, no good. Rebound. There's a foul on a contested shot. I believe it's Jamaria Johnson. And that will be it for Danielle Dickerson today, who I believe is going to foul out with 18.7 seconds left. Dickerson's day is done with nine points. Whitaker Moorhead will check in for her. Kamaya Beal will also take a seat for India Atkins. Jamaria Johnson makes the first, misses the second. And the Nighthawks get the stop sign from Coach Dominique Battles. 10 seconds left, and Whitaker Moorhead can dribble it out en route to the team's first four-game winning streak in program history. Nobody's hotter than the Nighthawks this season. Your final score, 81-51. The Nighthawks win their fourth straight for the first time in Nighthawk history. 
They get it done here in the kettle. When we come back, we'll wrap up this women's matchup and get ready for the Nighthawk men as they play host to the pioneers of Crowley's Ridge. This is Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. We'll be right back. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Final score from the Kettle. National Park College defeats the junior varsity squad of Crowley's Ridge College 81-51. It's the fourth consecutive win for the Nighthawk women. And it's going to set up, show, it's going to set up, excuse me, a big showdown for National Park College this upcoming weekend, February 5th, Saturday, on the road at North Arkansas College and a big Region 2 showdown. The Nighthawks currently sitting at number four in NJCAA Region 2 play, and they're going to go face the top dog, undefeated in conference play, North Ark, and look to deliver their first conference loss of the season. First for the Lady Pioneers of Crowley's Ridge College, Shamira Brown led the way, 17 points leading all scorers tonight. Kiana Foster added 12, Nakaya Edwards with 10, 
Six points apiece for Claire Bellers and Jamaria Johnson. For your Nighthawk women, the double trouble, India Atkins, Kayla Richardson, each finishing with 15 in the win. Amaya Coakley scooting out 10 points in the win. Nine points apiece for Danielle Dickerson and Dakira Kentel. Seven for Essiana Bennett. Seven for Jyla Calvin. Six for Emily Touch. And three for Kamaya Beal in the win. The next Nighthawk women's home game, like we talked about, it's going to be Saturday, February 12th here in the Kettle. 2 p.m. start. ASU Mid-South comes to town, and that's going to be a good one. The Nighthawks fell by just two points on the road in West Memphis back in January. And looking to right the ship here. We've got a couple of home games left for the Nighthawk women. Saturday the 12th against Mid-South, 2 p.m. Saturday the 19th, it's going to be sophomore night against South Arc, 2 p.m. tip-off. As you see on your screen, the Nighthawks are getting ready to go to battle against the pioneers of CRC. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna go to a graphic for just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere when we come back. Men's basketball action coming your way right here on the Nighthawk Network. The women win 81-51. What will the men do? We'll find out next. This is Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. We'll be back in about four minutes.
we go. Ty Lil Anderson to Valerie, and that's how it's gonna start! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the show you've came to see. Can he do it again? Oh my goodness! What? what? Can't beat from what? the Garland County line! What? Here comes Saban. Front court mismatch, puts it up. Dumps it in! Oh! Are you kidding me? Wow, what a play! Live from Oaklawn Foundation Gymnasium in the Kennel on the campus of National Park College in Hot Springs. This is National Park Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network, your official home for Nighthawk Athletics this season. Good evening, Nighthawk Nation. I'm NPC Sports Information Director Mark Oliver. Today's broadcast is brought to you by First Security Bank, a proud sponsor of Nighthawk Athletics in 2022. First Security Bank bank better in hot springs baptist church your official home of nighthawk men and women's soccer this season after a heartbreaking 87 82 loss saturday in the kettle the nighthawk men are turning the page and looking to start a new winning streak as npc plays host to the pioneers of crowley's ridge college in the first of two non-conference games this week for npc the nighthawks goal is similar to what it has been all season spread out the scoring and spread the wealth in terms of minutes. With five NJCAA Region 2 games to go this season, Coach Dylan Hargrove wants to make sure that every single Nighthawk is ready for game time when their number is called. Ranked eighth in the nation in points scored, fifth in the nation in field goal percentage, and second in the nation in free throw percentage, the Nighthawks love to score fast and score often, and they're looking to do just that against what they consider a rival from Northeast Arkansas. Averaging 88.9 points per contest, NPC boasts six players averaging double figures this season. Jaquarius Valry, Garrett Powell, Jalen O'Connor, Roderick Massinet, Cam Vick, and birthday boy, Savon Trailer, who leads the team with 14.8 points per contest. I told the guys I wasn't gonna do it, but guys, guess what? I lied, and I'm very excited to show you this video. Happy birthday, Savon Trailer. Here is Nighthawk Cam Vic, and well, you just watch. Not sure if we had the audio there or not, but Cam Vick singing happy birthday to Save On Trailer. If we didn't get you the audio, we'll get you a playback there, but happy birthday to Save On Trailer, leading the Nighthawks in scoring this season. Now, despite a 2-11 record this season, the Junior Varsity Pioneers have won two of their past three games, and will tonight be the night that they claim their first win over NPC in program history? That's what we're going to find out next. It's a packed house here in the kettle. It's game night. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we've got starting lineups and the opening tip between the Nighthawks and the Pioneers. This is National Park Nighthawk Basketball. We're live in the kettle and on the Nighthawk Network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, 
That local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here and heart and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Here at the Kettle, it's game time between the National Park Nighthawks and the Pioneers of Crowley's Ridge College. The Pioneers boasting just six players making the trip from Paragould tonight and taking a look at the starting lineup for those guys tonight. Starting things off from Pleasant Plains, Arkansas, six feet tall, number zero, Seth Wood. From Murfreesboro, Tennessee, standing at six foot two, number 22, Trent McGowan. From Paragould, Arkansas, at six foot five, number 41, Hunter Wilkerson. From Kenner, Louisiana, at six feet tall, number 43, Ardell Thompson. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Crowley's Ridge Pioneers, number 15, J.M. Gregg. And now for your NPC Nighthawks. Leading things off from Little Rock, Arkansas, standing at five foot 11, number zero, Cam Vick. From Springboro, Ohio, standing at six foot eight, number 10, Garrett Powell. From Trenton, New Jersey, standing at six foot five, number 11, Roderick Massinat. From Houston, Texas, standing at six foot four, number 33, Joe Quarius Valerie. And rounding out the starting lineups, birthday boy from Atlanta, Georgia, six foot six, number five, Savon Trailer. Nighthawks dressed in their Carolina blue tonight. They're looking to put on a show. Now, historically, this has been kind of a lopsided matchup. We got to go back to November 19, 2019, where the Nighthawks set the all-time record in points scored. It also happened to be the largest margin of victory in Nighthawk history. It was a 147-69 to decision against this CRC team. Nighthawks are hungry. They're angry after a tough loss Saturday in the kettle. They felt like Cossetot slipped away from their fingertips in the final minutes of that one. It was close. It was a two-point ball game with about 18 seconds left. But one of the things that the Nighthawks do best, shooting free throws, 
didn't go their way in the closing seconds, and now the Nighthawks are 3-2 and two in conference play. Now, like we talked about, this is the first of two tune-up games this week as the Nighthawks get ready for North Arc on Saturday, but tonight they'll face the guys in green from Perigold, Crowley's Ridge. Garrett Powell against Hunter Wilkerson were underway. Tipped by and controlled by Savon Trailer, the alley-oop to Joe Valry won't go, and they're going to reset up high. Just underway here in the kettle. Vic to Trailer, now Valry on the move. Massinet pulls up for three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound, Wilkerson, and here come the Pioneers. Down low into the corner. Wilkerson driving, kicked out to Ardell. Moving the ball quickly to the Pioneers here. 12 on the shot clock as Greg pulls up for a long two, and that's good. J.M. Greg starts the scoring for CRC, and that's the first lead of the ball game. Garrett Powell down low, sizing up the defense. There's definitely a mismatch there. Save on trailer, kicked out. 10 on the shot clock for Roderick Massinat. Massinat driving to trailer for three. It's on its way and it's good. The first of presumably many points tonight for the Nighthawk leading scorer and that's the first lead change of the ball game. Nighthawks pressuring on defense now with the lead, 3-2. Long three from the corner. Greg trying to do it again, but he can't. Rebound, Roderick Massinat. Dished out to Trailer, looking to do it again, and it's in and out, no good. Trailer goes down kind of awkwardly. He's going to backpedal on defense and get set. 18-12 to play here in the opening act. Seth Wood feeds it inside Wilkerson. Now it's a foot race. Garrett Powell's going to recover, wait for his team to catch up. Massinet not going to wait. He's going to lay one up off the backboard and draw the foul. He was going to set up an alley-oop for somebody, but now he's going to settle for free throws coming in. So Roderick Massinet's headed to the line, shooting two here in the kettle. Massinet coming off of a 20-point performance on Saturday against Cossetot. First free throw is good. That extends the Nighthawk lead. They have the Pioneers doubled up here early. Just two minutes and one second into this thing. Second free throw is off the mark. Rebound Trent McGowan, and McGowan's coming the other way for CRC. Thompson to Wood for three in the corner. And the rebound opportunity Knocked out of bounds by Garrett Powell. So kind of a slower start than maybe NPC was expecting here. We're going to have a substitution check in, and Jalen O'Connor enters the fray for the Nighthawks. Joe Valry is off to the locker room, and we hope to see him again soon. McGowan in the corner finds Wilkerson, pulls up for three, and that'll give the lead back to CRC. Wilkerson with a tray, and that's the second lead change. Trailer on the near wing. Pulls up for a long two. It's in and out. Powell trying to tip it up, can't get it. Wilkerson has a rebound and a hot start for Hunter Wilkerson of CRC. J.M. Gregg spins past Powell. It's blocked at the backboard. Trailer with the recovery. Out to Cam Vick. Vick driving double teamed and resets with Savon Trailer. Long three and it's off the rim. No good and Greg has the rebound. 16.50 to play. McGowan on the wing feeds it up high to Wilkerson. A long three over Garrett Powell and it's saved by Savon. Dished out to Roderick Massinet. Smooth moves. Massinet floats one up for Powell. Powell in and out, no good. Saved by Savon. He's fouled. 
Savon Trailer is headed to the free throw line, looking to add to his three-point total. And I think most importantly here, looking to tie the game with 16.26 to play. It's been a low-scoring affair here. First three and a half minutes have been rather quiet. Trailer is shooting two. First one is good to tie the game. Four of the team's five points belong to Savon Trailer, who shoots one more. Got it. 6 5 Nighthawks. There's another lead change. The third of the first half. Out in the corner, J.M. Gregg for three. Off the rim, no good. Saved by Savon. Trailer on the run, looking for a little bit of help here. No one there to dish to. Finds Cam Vick on the wing. Powell, unable to reel that one in. It's going back to the Pioneers. 16.06 to play. Wood guarded by O'Connor. McGowan shoots over Trailer for three, won't get it. Rebound Massanat. He's triple teamed. Gets it away to Jalen O'Connor. Looking to get it in the front court. Trailer wide open for three, and it's good. Save on Trailer. If you blinked, you missed it. He has eight of the team's nine. 15.35 to play. Driving is Thompson. Turns in traffic. Lost a man. Couldn't knock it down, and Massanat with another rebound. 15-20 to play. Massanat puts one up in traffic, up and in for two. Rodrik Massanat. We've got a timeout down on the floor. CRC will take it, and we'll take it with them. 15-17 to play in the first half. Nighthawks lead 11-5. It's Nighthawk basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Six-point lead for the home team, 15-15 to play, and CRC came ready to play, just despite six members on its squad tonight. There's another rebound for Savon Trailer, saved by Savon. And Trailer's had quite the hot night on his birthday. Eight points as Garrett Powell's going to knock one in for two. Now the Nighthawks starting to pull away. First points of the game for Garrett Powell. And the lead is eight. That one's stolen out of the sky by Rodrik Massinat. Finds Cam Vick, but he can't reel it in. It's out of bounds. Souvenir for us here at the stand. Didn't catch it on camera, but just believe me, it happened. 14.42 remaining in the first half here. 13.5 NPC. Substitutions getting ready to check in. Kyla Landerson to Corey Watkins making their way to the floor for Nighthawk Nation as Massinet and Powell will take a breather. Like to tell everybody that our featured Nighthawk player of today's game is Notorious Deuce Nelson. That's right, Pride of Ashdown, Arkansas will be featured during the halftime segment of tonight's broadcast. So don't miss our interview with Notorious. 14.28 to play, McGowan goes for a three, can't get it. As Garrett Powell comes up with the rebound, looks like he stayed in. Massinet and Vic go out. There's Kylo Anderson with a tray right off the bench to increase the lead to double digits. 14.09 to play. Maybe a slow start offensively for NPC, but they've found their chemistry now. Six minutes off the board here in the first half. Wood and Thompson reel it in to McGowan. Up over trailer, won't go. Wood has it stripped away. Stolen by Jalen O'Connor. 
O'Connor looking for help, finds Trailer. Wide open for three, in and out, no good. Rebound picked up J.M. Gregg, and here come the Pioneers. 13.38 to play, and we've got a reach-in foul, and I believe that's going to be on save on Trailer. It's his first. New faces coming in for Nighthawk Nation. Kate Schaefer and your featured Nighthawk, Notorious Nelson, hit the floor. So it's O'Connor, Schaefer, Nelson, Watkins, and Kylil Anderson on the, for, on the floor, excuse me, for the boys in blue. Lead is 11, 13.33 to play, and that one is out of bounds. An errant pass intended for McGowan. Into the game, Jaquin Killian for CRC. As Wilkerson takes a breather. Nighthawks on the move here, 13-23 to play. O'Connor, long three off the front of the rim, no good. McGowan into the front court. Bounce pass on the inside, has Thompson for two, Ardell Thompson. His first points of the ball game, the lead is nine. 13 minutes to play. Cade Schaefer drives, dished out to Anderson. Tries for another three, makes another three. Six points for Kyle Anderson. We've got a timeout down on the floor. 19-7 Nighthawks, 12.53 to play in the first. This is Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. 19-7, Nighthawk Nation. 12.53 to play here in a fast-moving first half. We're glad you're with us on the broadcast. Doesn't matter if you're a Pioneer fan, a Nighthawk fan, if you just love basketball, or maybe you just found us by mistake. That's okay. Let us know who you're watching. And where are you watching from tonight? We'd love to give you a shout out tonight. Inbounding will be CRC as we resume play. Trent McGowan gets it in to Ardell Thompson. Stolen by Cade Schaefer. That sets up to Corey Watkins. All alone, one on one, but he can't finish. McGowan with the board. CRC with a sigh of relief here. That one is Tipped by Notorious Nelson. Last touch by a Nighthawk, and it's going to be CRC basketball. Twelve thirty-three remaining. McGowan pulls up for a long shot there. Won't go. Greg. Rebound won't go, and it's saved by Jalen O'Connor. O'Connor into the front court. There's a reach-in foul. That's going to be the third team foul against Crowley's Ridge tonight. Foul is going to be on number 15, J.M. Gregg. That's his first personal. With 12-18 to play, here come the Hawks. Schaefer to O'Connor on the wing. He's dangerous if you leave him open. Nelson puts up the alley-oop, and the jam over a man, Kai Lil Anderson. Eight points for Kai Lil here in the first half. And now we've got to travel, and that's going to kick things back over to NPC. We've seen a lot of great dunkers over the years for NPC. I'm not sure anybody does it better than Kyle Lil Anderson. 11.58 to play. Fearless, relentless. Everything embodies what number two brings to the table. Lead is 14 for Nighthawk Nation. And they may try to do it again. Here's Notorious Nelson for a long two. Bucket for Deuce. And the Taurus Nelson's on the board for the first time tonight. 11.35 to play. And we've got a jump ball headed towards CRC. 
Clock stopped 11.34 to play. Inbounding is Wilkerson. Finds Thompson, who's met immediately by Kyla Landerson. Dished out in the corner. Greg for three, but it's too hard. Ball controlled by the Pioneers. McGowan needs help. Finds Wilkerson on the wing. 11.15 to play. McGowan creates a little bit of space. Bounce pass inside, but they can't reel it in. It's last touch by Jalen O'Connor. He didn't believe it, but it's CRC basketball. Just seven points allowed here through nearly nine minutes of basketball. Great defensive start for the Nighthawks. Wilkerson feeds it inside. On the run is Killian. The wheeled around, 10 on the shot clock. Thompson for three, won't go. And saved out of the sky by Jalen O'Connor. 10.57 to play. To Corey Watkins, to Kyla Anderson. O'Connor for three with a man in his face, won't get it. Rebound controlled by Thompson. Down on the ground, they're fighting for the loose ball. Watkins trying to get it. Greg recovers. Looking for a steal. Greg dished out, down low. Denied by Nelson with a block. Watkins trying to get a steal. Down low, Thompson to Greg. It's knocked out of bounds. It stays with the Pioneers. 10.34 to play here in the first half. Bounce pass inside. It's knocked away, and this time it's going to the boys in blue. Checking in Seth Wood for Pioneer basketball. Ten and a half to play in the first half to Corey Watkins enters the fray. Trying to set up a three-pointer. Anderson thought about it. He's going to take the shot. It's off the mark. No good. McGowan with a rebound. Anderson ready to get that ball back. Plucks it away from behind. Controlled by Watkins. Here comes Anderson. He's going to lay it up for Nelson, and he's going to put it up for two. Notorious Nelson, four points in this one as we reach the halfway point of the first half. 9.53 to play. Fed inside, there's a foul. And an 18 point lead for the home team. Inbounds, it's tipped, and there's going to be a foul there as Wilkerson was the intended recipient. It's going to be on Jalen O'Connor. That'll be his first personal. So free throws are coming for Wilkerson. He's got three points already in this one, and the first one is off the mark. Second shot for Wilkerson is good. That's the first point in quite some time for CRC. Long three for O'Connor won't go. Deuce with the rebound to Taurus Nelson. And the Nighthawks will reset to Corey Watkins. Watkins drives, dished out to O'Connor. Wide open for three, and it's in for three. Lead is 20. Jalen O'Connor is on the board with a tray. That's the fifth three-pointer for Nighthawk Nation here in the first. 9.22 to play, loose ball. Picked up by Notorious Nelson. Watkins spins into the front court. Watkins looking to finish. Dished out to Cade Schaefer. Stays with it. From the corner, a three. It's good. Cade Schaefer's on the board with a tray. That's the sixth three-pointer for the Nighthawks. Thompson fed in, and that one's blocked by Notorious Nelson. They'll reset up high with Wilkerson. 8.49 to play in the first half. Thompson to McGowan. He'll pull up for three. It's off the mark, no good, and Kyla Anderson has a rebound. Cross court to Schaefer. Thought about a three, dished out to O'Connor, and they're going to try to set up another three here, I believe. Out to Anderson. Wide open, on its way, and it's off the mark. Picked up by Jaquin Killian. 8.22 to play. 
McGowan to Wood. It's up and off the rim. Saved by DeCorey Watkins. Into the front court. Nighthawks with the advantage. O'Connor wide open for three. Couple of trays for Jalen O'Connor. That's number seven from downtown, and it's 34 to eight. Eight minutes to play in the first in the first half. Excuse me. Killian drives, dished out. McGowan is wide open for a tray, and it won't fall. Rebound, O'Connor. Dished to Anderson. Anderson looking for a strong finish. Notorious Nelson for two, off the back of the rim. 7.35 to play. There's a collision. Bounce pass to Killian. Fed to Wood. McGowan has it stripped away by Watkins. Cade Schaefer, it's a foot race. Stutter step. Brings it home. Cade Schaefer. Timeout, Pioneers. 7.21 to play in the first half. It's all Nighthawks, 36-8. to eight. We'll be right back. It's Nighthawk basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Seven twenty-one to play in the first half. It's thirty-six to eight, NPC over CRC. Nighthawks taking a little bit long getting out of the huddle here. They're having fun here. Hey, Nighthawk baseball is in the house. They just arrived from Little Rock. National Park Nighthawk baseball coach Rich Thompson's bunch opening the 2022 season officially. They split their series on the road today with Central Baptist College. Congrats to the Nighthawks for picking up their first win of the season. 7.15 to play. Ardell Thompson to Seth Wood up high. After a slow start maybe over the first four minutes of action, the Nighthawks turned up the juice, and boy, did they turn it up. Schaefer feeds it to Joe Quarius Valerie. You can hear that jam all the way back home in Houston, Texas. Valerie with an impact jam. The lead is 30 with 6.50 to play. As Greg... Gets it over to McGowan and backed out of here. Notorious Nelson has his third block of the night. And this crowd is loving it. Nighthawks baseball in attendance. They're still wearing their game jerseys coming in. Love to see it. 6.40 to play here in the first. Wilkerson has it poked away, and it's going to be out of bounds. Got to admire the effort from the Nighthawks defensively here. On the floor is Valerie, Watkins, Nelson, Anderson, and Schaefer. Ardell Thompson guarded by Kylil Anderson. Thompson drives, and that is partially blocked by Anderson. Rebound to the all-time rebound leader, Valerie. Nighthawks trying to set up a good shot here. 6-18 remaining in the first half. Up by 30. Ten on the shot clock for DeCorey Watkins. Driving, puts up a prayer, and it's going to sink in for two. The Nighthawks reach 40 on that bucket by DeCorey Watkins. Coming the other way, and that one is going to be in for three. Forty to eleven. Crowley's Ridge finally in double figures with 5:40 remaining. 
Alley-oop opportunity. Won't go. A little bit too hard by Watkins. Trying to feed Notorious Nelson. You know, the crowd loves 22. We'll talk about that in our interview coming up at halftime. Blocked by Nelson. That's number four. Cade Schaefer coming the other way for Nighthawk Nation. Schaefer dished out. Valerie says, I'm going to take it home. Loses that one off the rim. Saved by the Nighthawks. And Schaefer for three. Won't go. Rebound, Greg. 5-10 to play. Anderson trying to reel it in, but can't. It's going to stay with the home team. 5.09 remaining. Trent McGowan to inbound. Inbounds pass finds Ardell Thompson. Five minutes remaining in this highest flying first half. Seth Wood finds his first points of the ball game, 40 to 13. Watkins calls the shots from deep on the point for Nighthawk Nation. Fed to Valerie, turns and fires for three. It's in and out, no good. Thompson with a rebound. Here come the guys in green. Valerie looking to get that basketball back. Thompson down low, puts it up too hard, and a rebound to Torres Nelson. Anderson, front court, up for Valerie. He can't reel it in. It's going to be a foul on Valerie, and he'll head to the line shooting two. So a two points in this one. And excuse me, it looks like there are not free throws coming here. The foul was on the floor away from the ball. It's still night hot basketball. Garrett Powell and save on trailer are back in action for the home team. Inbounds pass finds Powell. To Corey Watkins, wide open for three, and it's good. Lead back to 30. Watkins has five. 4-10 to play in the first half. Thompson swings, and it's up and in for J.M. Gregg. 43-15 with four minutes left. Watkins has a bounce pass on the inside to Torres Nelson to Trailer. Pulls up for a long two. Save on Trailer. That'll put Trailer in double figures here for the first half. He has 10. He's the first Nighthawk, first player on either team to do it. 3.35 to play. Thompson for three. Five points for Ardell Thompson. He leads the Pioneers. 45-18, 3.22 remaining. Watkins feeds Notorious Nelson. On the wing is save on Trailer. Nelson drives, puts up a shot over a man, can't get it. Rebound Wood, and here come the Pioneers. McGowan on the inside. Nowhere to go, the wheel around. J.M. Gregg with a hand in his face. Can't make the three. Rebound to Corey Watkins. Watkins to trailer. Wide open for three, and it's in and out no good. Loose ball picked up by Gregg. Tipped away by DeCorey Watkins. Cade Schaefer comes up with it, trying to put up an alley-oop. Not going to happen. Dished out to Powell. He's all alone, and he jams at home. Four points for Garrett Powell. 2.30 remaining in this high-flying first half for the Nighthawks. Wilkerson on the wing. Puts one up in traffic for two. That'll get the Pioneers to 20. Six points for Wilkerson. DeCorey Watkins calls the offense. Trailer thought about a three. It's poked away, and it's intercepted. Knocked away by McGowan, controlled by Wilkerson. Here's a jump pass to Ardell Thompson. Long three. Hand in his face, won't go. Schaefer with a rebound. Here come the Nighthawks. Schaefer, bounce pass, save on Trailer. Looking for some action down home. Didn't get a whistle. Garrett Powell, right place, right time for two. Six points for Garrett Powell. Pioneers with the basketball coming the other way. Wilkerson up high, guarded by Nelson. Long three is off the mark. Rebound, Cade Schaefer. 
124 to play. Put up for Notorious Nelson. Reels it in. Can't save it. Save on Trailer saves it. He'll knock it in for two. More points for Save on Trailer. He has 12. 112 to play. And what a steal by Watkins. Schaefer into the front court. Down low. Puts a shot up in traffic. Banked off the glass for two. Seven points for the pride of Russellville, Arkansas. Cade Schaefer. That one's out of bounds going the other way. The Nighthawks are going to have it. Jaquin Killian's going to come in for CRC. Less than a minute remaining here in the first half. 56.9 to be exact. Trailer to Watkins. Fed to Cade Schaefer on the side. 40 seconds remain, and the ball is out of bounds. Pass intended for Notorious Nelson. It's knocked away. 39.6 seconds remain. Wilkerson to McGowan. Long three on its way. It's good. Swish for Trent McGowan. That's his first points of the game. The lead is 30. The Nighthawks can hold for the final shot of the first half. Cade Schaefer is going to dribble it out. One shot coming. Seven seconds left. Nelson puts a shot up in traffic. Off the short rim. No good. Nelson loses the rock. Wilkerson, a half-court heave, and it won't go. No whistle. That's how the first half will come to a close. A 30-point lead for the home team. 53-23 Nighthawk Nation. Don't go anywhere. Coming up next, it's our featured Nighthawk interview with Notorious Nelson. It's the first Security Bank halftime show. Nighthawks lead. We're back after this. Nighthawk basketball, Nighthawk network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path.
National Park Nighthawk Basketball is on the Nighthawk Network, your official home for Nighthawk Athletics this season. Our featured men's basketball player of the week is Notorious Nelson. Notorious, welcome back to Nighthawk Nation. A great year number one for you. What was it that made you decide to come back for another year here in Nighthawk Nation? As far as me and the other returners, I felt like we lost first round last year and we had unfinished business. And with all the other returners, I felt like we all had one goal to be the first one to put a banner in the gym. So I, uh, Coach Hargo told me who was all coming back. We was all bought in during the summertime to put in the extra work during the summertime to go on re ready and get ready to put a banner in the gym. After last year, of course, a, a great year and a great team last year, but maybe kind of help put in perspective just the amount of extra work that's required to get over that hill. And there are a lot of returners for this year's team. We've talked about it a lot this season. And what has it been like being able to kind of lay that foundation again this season with a lot of guys that you were familiar with from a year ago? Yes, sir. Um... Uh, during the preseason, we did a lot of working out, a lot of working out uh, as far as the quad, as far as getting up at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning working out. We got um, we had got some extra guys, and they was bought in, too. That We all got the same goal. We all trying to win. No selfish players. We all just got one goal is to win. So I feel like we all bonded together, and that's what's making us good right now. And I think your teammates would agree with that. You know, Coach Hargrove said at the beginning of the season, says, my offense isn't going to run through one or two people. We're going to share the love. We're going to spread the wealth. And he's stuck to that this year. Multiple players averaging double figures and a lot of players coming in off the bench and really contributing great minutes. We saw a lot out of you against Williams Baptist last week and now a big opportunity this week. But before we get to tonight's game, Let's talk about Saturday's game. So UA Cossetot comes into the kettle, and that's a tough one. You guys drop a heartbreaker in the final seconds of the basketball game, and that just shows how difficult this conference really is. But what did you personally take away from this loss? What did the team learn from taking an L in the kettle? Well, we had prepared for Cossetot all week. They got um, a couple good guys, really good guys, as far as Terry Anderson and uh, Delon Dean. And we was getting ready to um, cut them in half because they were averaging 20-something points. And we had uh, game plans for them, and they came out. They came ready to play. And they threw something that way. We tried to get Terry in foul trouble, which kind of hurt us because we wouldn't ex wasn't expecting them to go zone. And um, we were struggling with the zone. So that's, that's something that we um, struggled with. And the next day we came in for practice, and we uh, – was learning to play against it. So now we're going to be ready for it next time we play them at Kostat. You're halfway through conference play. You got five games to go in Region 2. And looking at the standings, it looks like it could really be anybody's conference to take. And uh, what are some of the things that you guys have been working on since that loss? You get ready for another home game tonight. Crowley's Ridge comes to town. What are some of the things that we're going to expect to see out of the Nighthawk men tonight? Um, we're just going to go out there. We're going to try to work on some things that we're not that good at as far as offensive, defensively. We're going to go out there and guard, work on ourselves, and uh, just keep getting better for the next conference games that's coming up. Notorious, what is it that drives you on the court? What is it that inspires you to continue playing in your basketball career? As um, far as me coming from Ashdown, college basketball players is rare. So that's one thing that uh, drives me. My parents motivate me every single day. They stay on me every single day to be the best I can be. Um, I got a lot of fallen angels that uh, motivated me as far as my granny, um, LaWanda Nelson, my other granny, Grace Mae Smith. And um, I just lost an uncle that meant something special to me. And he drives me every single game. He even came to National Park before it, uh, Mr. Keith. And that, that's just a lot of things that drives me every day and, and my niece. Sure. Notorious, we have really enjoyed watching you grow and develop and really just dazzle. You know, as far as the team goes and the energy, I don't know if any other player on this team gets quite the rise out of the crowd that you do when you make a big play or you make a bucket. You've got a huge following. We're glad you walked through the doors here in Nighthawk Nation, and we wish you, wish you the best of luck the rest of the way this year. Is there anybody you'd like to say hello to who may be watching? Um, my mom, Renata Nelson, my dad, Notorious Nelson first, my sister, Notoriana Nelson, my niece, Kyrie Johnson, and all my other family and friends. I love y'all. That's it. 
Notorious Nelson of the National Park Nighthawk men's basketball team. More on tonight's game coming up next. This is National Park Nighthawk basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Start of the second half here from the kettle. I'm Mark Oliver with the Nighthawk Network. 53-23 Nighthawks after an explosive first half. We'll get you first half stats here in just a moment. National Park starting things off with the basketball here. It'll be Cam Vick, Roderick Massinet. 
Joe Quarries, Valerie, Garrett Powell, and Savon Trailer. Airball there, saved by Savon as Trailer is going to have uh, the ball turned over to Crowley's Ridge. First for the Pioneers. They're led by Hunter Wilkerson. Six points in the first half. Five points apiece for Ardell Thompson and Seth Wood. Four for J.M. Gregg. Three for Trent McGowan. McGowan from the corner there is going to add to his total with a tray. He now has six. It's the first point of the second half. For the Nighthawks, they were led by Savon Trailer. 12 points in the first half. Eight for Kylo Anderson. Seven for Cade Schaefer. Six apiece for Jalen O'Connor and Garrett Powell. Save on Trailer coming up with another bucket here in the second half. And now a steal. Trailer coming up at the rock, coming the other way. Bounce pass Valerie. Looks to finish to Roderick Massinet and will reset. Valerie shoots a three, and that one is nothing but net. Joe Quirius, Valerie. So as we try to catch up here, it's Trailer with 12, Anderson with 8, Schaefer with 7, 6 apiece for O'Connor and Powell, 5 for DeCorey Watkins, 4 for Notorious Nelson, 3 for Roderick Massinet, and 2 for Joe Quirius Valerie in the first half. Long 3 from the corner, Ardell Thompson, shot won't go, Cam Vick with the rebound. Vick, the last remaining Nighthawk to not score in tonight's action. Trailer is going to fire that one in for 3. So the birthday boy off to a hot start. Now he's got 17 points here in action in a 61-26. Wilkerson dishes that one out to McGowan. He's going to fire for another three, and that's his second of the second half. Nine points for Trent McGowan, who leads the Pioneers in scoring. 17.53 remaining in the second half. Vic dribbling, looking for an option as he feeds Savon Trailer. Another three, another bucket for Savon. Trailer out to 20 points already here in this one. Still a lot of basketball to be played here. Down in the corner, Seth Wood for three. He won't get it. It's tipped by Savon, saved by Garrett Powell. And here come the Nighthawks. Cam Vic. Loses the rock. It's stolen away by Greg. Bounce pass has McGowan. McGowan looks for another three on its way, but it won't fall. Roderick Massinat with the rebound. 17-15 to play. Back and forth we go. NPC outscoring the Pioneers 11-6 so far in the second half. Trailer looking to do it again. Can't get it. Valerie off the rim. They're going to try to set him up again. Here's a three from Valerie off the rim. And it's out of bounds, last touched by a Pioneer. Nighthawks keeping their feet on the gas here in the second half. Valerie gets it inside to Garrett Powell. Powell has his hands full with Thompson. Doesn't matter, it's in for two. Eight points for Garrett Powell. 66-29 ball game. Wilkerson, a jump pass, has Greg. Greg makes two men miss, a fadeaway floater. It's in for two. Six points for J.M. Greg in today's contest. That one to the hole, Joe Quarius Valerie. He has seven. Roderick Massinat applying the pressure, lets the Pioneers into the front court now. Wilkerson driving, double team, loses his dribble. Turns after he makes a man miss, and that one's in for two. Hunter Wilkerson, eight points. Four minutes off the clock here in the second half. Valerie rounding the arc, finds save on Trailer. Trailer for three, got it. The points keep coming for save on Trailer. That is his fifth three-pointer tonight. Reach in. Massinet steals the ball away. Massinet puts an alley oop up. No one's there to get it. Loose ball. Going to be picked up by the, the Nighthawks. Save on Trailer. Trailer dashes to Powell for two. The lead is 40 as Garrett Powell enters double figures. He has 10. Wilkerson makes a man miss. McGowan from the corner off the rim. Rebound Valerie. 
Valry needs a little bit of help. Dished out, Massinet, front and center, wide open for three. And it's raining here in the kettle. Massinet has his turn from beyond the arc, and he has six points. Looking for another steal. Wilkerson drives all the way to the hole. He goes down to hard. Wilkerson appears to be injured. He collides with Valerie, and we're going to take a small break to get Wilkerson checked out. It's Nighthawk basketball on the Nighthawk network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Six. So we're back in action here in the kettle. Hunter Wilkerson goes down hard. Looks like he landed on his tailbone almost. He's checking out of the game to be looked at. There are currently no substitutes available with Wilkerson out for the Crowley's Ridge Pioneers. Nighthawk basketball, Notorious Nelson up and in for two. He comes in during the break and puts some points on the board. Six points for Notorious Nelson tonight. We've got a fresh five on the floor for NPC. Watkins, Anderson, Nelson, Schaefer, and O'Connor. McGowan shoots a three, makes a three, another one. He has 12 on four trays. It's 78-36. 14.05 remaining. Watkins takes his time, guarded by Thompson in the zone. Anderson turns and fires for two, but it's too short. Rebound picked up J.M. Gregg. Anderson looking to get the basketball back. 13.50 to play. Gregg posts up for a three, hand in his face, off the rim, a rebound. Goes to the Pioneers. Killian to Thompson, thought about a three. Now Killian has it stripped away, a souvenir for a Nighthawk cheer team member. Wilkerson still being looked at by the training staff there. He's kind of trying to walk it off. We hope to see him back in the game soon. Wilkerson, eight points tonight. McGowan for three. And it won't go. Anderson picks up the rock. Here come the Nighthawks coming the other way. 13-27 to play. Anderson letting the, the crucial seconds tick down here in the second half. Schaefer drives Anderson to Watkins on the wing. Ten on the shot clock. Watkins dishes to Schaefer. Wide open for three on its way, but he misses the mark. Out of bounds, Crowley's Ridge basketball. 13.06 to play. Killian, front and center. Hand off Thompson. Thompson, bounce pass, a kick ball off of Notorious Nelson. It should stay with the guys in green. 12.55 to play here in the second half. After kind of a slow start for each team over the first maybe four or five minutes of the ball game, Nighthawks turned up the juice, haven't looked back since. Looking for win 16 on the season this year. Trent McGowan has three-pointer number five tonight. That'll match save on trailers five. 15 points for McGowan. Jalen O'Connor takes his turn from beyond the arc, but it won't go just a little bit too short, and it's back to the Pioneers. Nighthawks have their opponent doubled up here, 78-39, 12-28 to play. Thompson finds McGowan here on the wing. McGowan drives. Stuck in the corner, nowhere to go for Thompson. Spin move past Watkins. Jump pass, intercepted, picked up by O'Connor. O'Connor floats it to Schaefer. Dishes to Notorious Nelson for two. Eight points for Deuce. Greg coming the other way. Takes it to the hole, up and in for two. And the Pioneers eclipse 40. Eight points for J.M. Gregg. Watkins up for Anderson. Too short, it won't fall. All smiles as they hustle back on defense here. J.M. Gregg to Seth Wood for three. No. Rebound. Tipped up by Anderson. Now a mismatch heading to the front court. Dished out to Watkins. Watkins needs a little bit of help. Turns. Loose ball. Looking for 
Jalen O'Connor, but Notorious Nelson will save it. 11.22 to play. Watkins feeds Notorious Nelson. He's going to travel and kick it back over to Crowley's Ridge. 11.17 to play. McGowan to inbound to Greg. Taking a look across the way, Wilkerson still on the bench for the Pioneers. Hope to see him back in soon. Went down with maybe an apparent tailbone injury, if you will. Here's Killian front and center for the guys in green. Taken away. That's going to be a kickball, not a steal for DeCorey Watkins. McGowan will bring it in. 11.02 to play. Fed into the corner. McGowan is double teamed. Out to Seth Wood. Tipped out of bounds and a souvenir for a Nighthawk cheer team member. Killian finds Wood down low, and they're going to reset up high. Long three, J.M. Gregg over the back. No whistle. Nighthawks are going to take it away. DeCorey Watkins with a steal. Watkins back door to Notorious Nelson. He's fouled. So Nelson will attempt double figures tonight from the charity stripe. First shot is good for Notorious, and the lead is 40. Second bucket good for Notorious Nelson. Ten points for Nelson. 82-41 Nighthawks. That one nearly stolen away. Greg feeds Wood for a three. Hand in his face didn't matter. Seth Wood knocks it down. Eight points tonight for number zero. 82-44, 10-20 to play. Lost it out of bounds. Tipped away, and the Nighthawks will keep it. Into Kylil Anderson. Zone defense coming from the Pioneers here. 10-12 to play. Directing traffic as Anderson dishes out to O'Connor. O'Connor drives, fires, and scores. Eight points for Jalen O'Connor. Down from the corner, Seth Wood, another three, won't go. Loose ball, anybody's ball. Thompson takes it to the hoop for two. Seven points for Ardell Thompson. 9.38 remaining. Anderson loses the rock, and it's going to be Pioneer basketball. Fed into to Corey Watkins. Nelson fires along two, and he'll knock it down. Your featured Nighthawk player of tonight's game does it again. He has 12. Dished out to Seth Wood for three. It's good. 11 for Wood. He has three trays. 86-49 Nighthawks. 9.05 remaining. Nelson feeds Kyle Anderson in the paint. Alley-oop opportunity. Won't go. Watkins saves it. 10 on the shot clock. DeCorey Watkins turns and fires. Too short. Out of bounds. Souvenir for Aaron Brewer down at the baseline. Seems like no matter where he goes, the basketball always goes to him. Guess it's the life of a photographer. If you haven't seen Aaron Brewer's work, it's some of the best that you'll see. In all of Arkansas athletics. Notorious Nelson. Too hard. Killian with a rebound. 8.41 to play. Bounce pass intercepted. Cade Schaefer. Another steal for number three. Schaefer kicked out and O'Connor. Has it plucked away. It's out of bounds. And it's going to be Pioneer basketball. 8.31 remaining. 86-49.
Dished in to Greg. Down in the corner, Wood fires another corner three. This time it won't go. Thompson has the rebound and the Pioneers reset. McGowan for three. No. And Jalen O'Connor comes up with the rock. 8 to wait remaining. O'Connor hangs out on the wing, hands it to Watkins. Stutter step, and on the inside, it's dished out to a wide open Kylil Anderson. Won't go. O'Connor with the rebound, a fade away for two, and it's good. Welcome to double digits, Jalen O'Connor, and now a steal by DeCorey Watkins. Mismatch into the front court, dished out to Notorious Nelson. He'll push the Nighthawks to 90. McGowan for three. Got it. That's his sixth three-pointer. He has 18. 7.15 to play. Anderson to Nelson. Trying to feed him some more points than they do. 16 for Notorious Nelson. McGowan fires another three, won't get it. Nelson with a big rebound, and what a big night for the pride of Ashdown, Arkansas. Notorious Nelson. 6.45 remaining. O'Connor, beyond the arc, thought about a three. The lead is 40, bounce pass inside Nelson. They're going to keep feeding. 10 on the shot clock. Here's Cade Schaefer. Schaefer floats one up. Nelson's not able to, to make the connection. McGowan, denied, fouled hard by Anderson. Oh, goodness. McGowan looks like he's okay. Has to catch his breath there. It's going to be his first time at the free throw line tonight after shooting like a ton of threes. Foul is on Kyle L. Anderson. It's his first. McGowan shooting two. First shot, good. Coming into the ball game, Joquarius Valerie, Garrett Powell. As Jalen O'Connor and Kyle L. Anderson take a seat. One more coming for Trent McGowan. He'll make them both, and he's at 20. On the floor for Nighthawk Nation, Nelson, Watkins, Schaefer, Powell, and Valerie. Good opportunity for Coach Dylan Hargrove to try some different combinations on the floor. You know, Region 2 play is tough. You never know when you're going to need these guys. Watkins, smooth move, stays with it, goes to the hole, count the bucket, there's a foul. DeCorey Watkins. One free throw coming for number 13. Off the mark, no good. Rebound, Val Reed. The Nighthawks are going to reset. Powell will take his turn from beyond the arc. Off the rim, no. Rebound, Killian. Here come the Pioneers. 5.54 to play. Down in the wing. Wide open is Wood. He'll knock it down for three. That's his fourth three-pointer. 94-57. 14 points for Seth Wood. Schaefer, long two, won't get it. Thompson comes up with the rebound. Thompson dishes to McGowan. Looking for another three, hand in his face. No. Loose ball. Thompson to Greg for three. The threes keep coming for Crowley's Ridge College. That's the ninth three-pointer this second half for the guys in green. And the Nighthawks will take it. 5.07 to play. Powell dishes to Schaefer. Nine points for Cade Schaefer. Trent McGowan with the rock. Hangs it over to Thompson in the corner. Cross the way. Now Greg for three. Got it. That's the 10th tray for the Pioneers. 
14 points for J.M. Gregg. Three pioneers in double figures tonight. 4.28 remaining for DeCorey Watkins. Schaefer turns and fires for three. In and out, falling down, no good. And the rebound goes to the Nighthawks, taken away by the Pioneers and swatted away by DeCorey Watkins. It's going to be Pioneer basketball with 4.18 to play. Ardell Thompson. Back up high is J.M. Gregg. 4-11 remaining. Out on the wing. Long three by Thompson. No. Valerie looking to save it. Knocks it out of bounds instead. It'll be green basketball. 4.05 to play. Long three from the corner. Wood can't get it. Rebound to Torres Nelson. Over to Joe Quirius Valerie. Looking to jam at home. It's been a while since we've seen a Joe Quirius Valerie jam. And Joe Quirius has nine points. Three forty-three to play. McGowan. To Wood. Contested three. In and out, no good. Rebound. Greg up and in. 16 points for J.M. Gregg. 3.23 remaining. Nighthawks taking their time now. Schaefer, dance move. Behind the back looking for Watkins. Wasn't there. Actually bounced off of a Pioneer. But now it's going to be Pioneer basketball. 3.15 and counting in this one. Nighthawks approaching the century mark. McGowan to Killian. Nelson applying the pressure. Kicking him back deep. Three minutes left. Swatted away by Powell. Killian stays with it. Knocked away. Cade Schaefer puts it up. Tries to jam it home. Can't get it. Nelson's going to try. Nelson with the jam. The Nighthawks have 100. Notorious Nelson slammed at home. There was no doubt he's all smiles. Kicked away by DeCorey Watkins. And good eye by the cheer team. They've been on alert all night long. Eighteen points for Notorious Nelson. Two twenty-three left. Killian has it knocked away. It's going to be Nighthawk Rock. Here comes Cade Schaefer and the National Park Nighthawks. Two seventeen to play. Schaefer for three in and out. A heartbreaker. McGowan with the board. Valerie with the pressure. They're looking to get a steal here. Swatted away. Greg stays with it. Ardell Thompson. Won't finish. Nelson with a rebound. Out to Watkins. Watkins, back door. Loses the rock. Nelson couldn't contain it. Pioneer basketball. Out of bounds. Nighthawks recover 150 remaining. One forty-three to play. Nelson front and center. Hand off Valerie. Valerie hangs with the rock. Ten on the shot clock. Valerie up and in for two. So Joe Quarius Valerie will enter double figures. He has eleven. Killian dished out to Wood for three. Won't go. Rebound, Powell. Watkins controls. Here come the Nighthawks. 1-0-9 to play. Schaefer dished out. Garrett Powell for two. 12 points for Garrett Powell in this one. Nighthawks have the ball back. Notorious Nelson for three. No. Rebound, McGowan. Less than a minute remaining. 
McGowan drives, fires, it's good. That's his first two-point field goal of the night. Garrett Powell tries a windmill, can't get it. Gets his own rebound. They're going to try again. To Corey Watkins. They're going to try to feed up an alley-oop here. Won't go. Rebound Valerie is going to stay with it. Nighthawks, backdoor. Powell, the jam. And that should be it in this one. 21.2 seconds left. Nighthawks are going to move back into the win column. They dropped a three-game win streak on Saturday, and a new one starts tonight. 13 seconds left. McGowan's going to dribble it here. And maybe attempt one last shot in this one. A long three from Thompson. It's good. And the Nighthawks are going to throw it up. Dribble it out. There's the stop sign. And there's the win. Final score here in the kettle. The Nighthawks win 106 to 70. They defeat Crowley's Ridge College and remain undefeated in program history against the Pioneers. We'll be back to wrap things up here in the kettle. This is National Park Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here and heart and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path.
Final score in the kettle tonight, 106 to 70. The Nighthawks win by 36 points. And they're back in the win column. It's the 16th win of the season for National Park College as they put a bow on the month of January and get set for a very important next month in February. Nighthawks will have another non-conference game coming up Wednesday night, February 2nd, here in the kettle. It is a men's only game against Central Baptist College's junior varsity team. That's a 7 o'clock tip-off here in the kettle. We'll be live on the Nighthawk Network for that one as well. And they're singing happy birthday to Save On Trailer here in the kettle. What a performance for Save On Trailer tonight. 23 points in the win for that young man right there. And, and what can you say about these Nighthawks? Just put up 23 points, got the win. He's out there working and getting ready for Wednesday. 23 points for Savon Trailer, 18 for Notorious Nelson, 14 for Garrett Powell, 11 for Joquarius Valerie, 10 for J uh, Jalen O'Connor, excuse me, five players in double figures. It was nine for Cade Schaefer, eight for Kylil Anderson, seven for DeCorey Watkins, and six points for Roderick Massinet in the win for Nighthawk Nation. For Curley's Ridge, 22 points tonight for Trent McGowan, 16 for J.M. Gregg, 14 for Seth Wood, 10 for Ardell Thompson, and 8 for Hunter Wilkerson. That'll do it for this edition of Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. The Nighthawks win 106-70, to and for the Nighthawk women, they win 81-51. So it's a clean sleep, a clean sweep, excuse me, of the pioneers of Crowley's Ridge College. We'd like to thank everybody for tuning in on the live stream tonight. We'll be back in action on Wednesday as the Nighthawk men play host to the Mustangs of Central Baptist College. I'm Mark Oliver with the Nighthawk Network. You can follow the Nighthawks on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. We'll leave you tonight from the kettle with two victories for the men and the women. See you Wednesday. This has been Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Get them Hawks.